in this video tutorial i'm going to show you how to fix no valid subscription warning message on proxmox hello and welcome back to my channel so as you can see i have proxmox installed on my server i'm using the free version of proxmox and i think most of the people nowadays using free version of proxmox you see this warning message that there is no subscription so i'm going to show you two methods how to fix this kind of issue or some annoying error message or the warning message so let's start with the step number one using the post script so this script has multiple stuff in it also we will be able to update our proxmox to the latest version as well so currently you can see i have uh 8.4.0 and it's a new install i have not done anything yet on this server you can see i have no virtual machines no containers no configuration at all so it's a brand new let me log out and log back in just to show you the error is still here okay so let's start with the method one so first of all i'm going into the node and then i'm going to go into the shell okay first let update the repositories by typing the command apt update and you can see we have few errors here and the postscript what we will run that will fix these kind of issues as well so the next command i'm going to type is apt upgrade if there is any upgrade pending so we can upgrade it and then we will run the script I will post the link of this post in my description of the video so you can just copy or also I will uh, post the script code in the description of this video as well so you guys can just copy and paste okay so let's copy this code and paste it into the shell if you want to run this script using the putty application make sure you're logged in as root okay once you hit enter on the script this is the first screen you will see it's going to ask you do you want to run this script uh, make sure to press y key so that way you are confirming that yes i do want to run this script and in, on the next page you will see it's asking to fix the sources you remember i typed command apt update and there were a few errors so it's going to fix those errors here by fixing the sources and the next one is going to be disable pve enterprise yes we are going to disable because we are not using this uh, with in enterprise licenses we are using the free version so we will disable this pve enterprise repository sorry i accidentally hit no on the other one but it's okay it's a test machine so enable pve no subscription repository i'm gonna say yes on this one because it's a no subscription repository it's a test lab and i recommend if you guys are using test lab then you can apply this fix otherwise if it's a production then buy the license correct the self packages i'm not going to use this one but it's okay if i hit yes or no it doesn't matter but if you know about this package then uh, you can correct this one if you want to if you don't know then uh, you can select no it's fine or and then the next one is going to be pve test so there is going to be a repository for test if you want to disable uh, disable this repository you can say yes or otherwise you can say no so it will keep the configuration as it is so it all depends on you if you want to keep it or not and then this is the one we actually wanted to do which is disable subscription nag so this one is the warning or error message once you log in to your proxmox whatever it shows it's called subscription nag so yes we do want to disable this and then uh, after this it's asking for some kind of support and then you need to reboot your machine and then it should be okay to go okay so the next one is disable high availability if you're using uh, that feature so that's specifically for uh, the server which has like multiple nodes so you can set up high availability but if it's a single node then we don't need that but for this machine i'm gonna do uh, the clustering so that's why i'm 
uh, setting a different option but I can do that later uh, anytime uh, disable chorusing this is uh, one of the color string feature as well so we specifically was doing uh, this for uh, the neck message and you can see the last one is for update proxbox we so currently the version was 8.4.0 so the latest version i seen on the website which is 8.4.1 if the scripts work this should be updated to 8.4.1 so i'm gonna uh, select yes and then continue on this one because i do want to update my proxmox to the latest version using this script so after updating your system it will reboot and mine is came back up i'm just going to log in to see if uh, the nag message is gone and my system is up to date so let's just log in so this subscription warning message is still here but i can see the proxmox version is updated i assume this nag message is from the cache so i'm gonna try with the ip address instead of fpvn and let's try one more time so i'm gonna put in my username and the password okay so now you can see there was no uh, warning message for subscription but my proxmox version is updated and that mag message is gone so that was the method one and let's jump to the method two which is using the code uh, like you're going to edit some code on the back end of proxmox and i do recommend to use this method or first method or the second method only if you're using proxmox for the lab or for your home test kind of server or for training purposes if you're using it in the production please do not use this uh, method because if you're using it in production make sure to buy the licenses so you can get the support from proxmox itself okay so as i have updated proxmox 2 using the script i'm going to use another server like i have multiple proxmox servers i'm going to use another one where i can show you using the back and file editing stuff so this is another machine and you can see the nag message is still here so now we are going to fix this using the code or using the backend file so if you are familiar with the command line it will not be a big deal for you but if you're not then still i will make sure to keep it as easy as possible but make sure to back up your files before editing anything so let's go to the shell of this uh, node so the file we are going to edit has thousand lines of code so rather than using the shell i'm going to use the putty application and in that it's easy way to find uh, what exactly you're looking for okay and i'm using nano tool nano file editor for that file and uh, don't worry about the file location or anything else whatever code and the locations i have used i will put that all in the description of this video so uh, it's going to be in the user share javascript proxmox widget toolkit and the file name is proxmox lib.js so it's a uh, javascript file so first of all uh, just to be safe i'm going to copy this file uh, with another name so let's say just do it uh, backup or bk dot uh, like anything uh, just to keep another backup file so just type command cp that's for copy and the file name and the file name again and then uh, add another extension you can see b b a k normally people do that but i use b k u p so that way i can uh, remember that's the file created by me and then open the file using nano editor then uh, you use control w key and then type no valid and it will directly redirect you to that line and here you can see the code uh, it's the same line no valid subscription once you find this one go above where it's starting from if res ww null and here you will find dot data dot status is equal to exclamation mark 
is equal to is equal to active so it's very simple but make sure you're doing it at the right location you just need to remove this exclamation mark where it says active is equal to is equal to active just remove that save the file by hitting ctrl x and then y and hit enter but don't worry we still have the backup of the file so now i'm going to exit from the putty and let's refresh the page Sorry, we need to restart PVE proxy service because we have edited the file. And one thing just to be sure, this file editing method will only remove the nag message. It will not update your proxbox. Okay, so let's type systemctl restart prox uh, PVE proxy dot service. And after restarting, you should be able to uh, remove or hide that uh, subscription message. Just to avoid the cache, I'm using another browser, which is Microsoft Edge. And uh, let's try logging in here with the root. And let's see what it shows. Okay, so you can see there is no warning or error message for subscription. But you can see uh, the Proxmox version is still the older version, 8.4.0 that's it for today thank you so much for watching the video and if you like the video make sure to hit the like button and subscribe the channel that's the support for me for my efforts and i'll see you in the next video bye bye